Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, so in this one today, I'm going to be making a Brooklyn Nets um, sign. And I'm going to be using both the CNC machine and the laser machine for this one. Uh, reason being is that the background is going to be cut out of maybe a 12 or a 16mm MDF. And the front will be done out of 3mm MDF, which I'll cut on the laser. Um, so this is the logo that I'm going to be using. Um, and I've just brought this into Inkscape because I just need to do uh, a little bit of mucking around with it just to get it right, just to basically separate the front from the back. Um, I could probably cut the back on the laser machine as well, but as I said, um, being 12 mil, it's kind of, yeah, gets a bit iffy on the, on the laser. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do that on the CNC. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just do a duplicate of the sign and I'm going to go in and remove the inner parts of the, um, of this one on the right hand side here. Um, so obviously object to path, um, that way you can go in and, um, click on that, uh, edit node tab. And I'm just going to go in and select all that and remove it uh, along with the B as well because basically the one on the right here is going to be cut on the uh, CNC machine. This is going to be the outer background or like the shield I suppose. And the one on the left is what we're going to take and do on the um, laser machine. Um, so now that I've got all that done, um, what I need to do, uh, and this can be a little bit tedious depending on how you go about doing it. Uh, this is the way that I do it. Basically what I need to do is, uh, there's two lines here. If I go into, um, outline mode, you can see that there are two lines. Uh, if I put that into the CNC machine, it's going to want to cut along both of those lines. And I only want it to cut on the outside line, basically to cut that shape out. Uh, so clicking on the node editor tool, you can go in and you can just delete all those nodes on the inside. Uh, now, if there's another way of doing it, um, definitely jump in the comments and let me know if there is an easy way, because as I said, this can be quite tedious to do. Uh, but this is the way that I do it. Uh, at the end of the day, it gets the job done. So uh, that's sort of what matters. So I'm just going to go in here and again, like I said, selecting all these nodes. If you hold down the shift key while you click on those, they'll all uh, sort of... Um, light up and then you can just hit backspace or delete and get rid of them um, you'll know if you haven't got them all because when you do hit delete uh, it turns into like a wavy line type thing uh, but we'll just see how we go I'll go here and select all those uh, and again I'm only wanting the outside line because I need the CNC machine to cut that that shield shape uh, so that's the reason for removing this inner line here um, so yeah, you see there that I've missed a couple of nodes. So again, just going to go through and select those. You probably could do an outline of this shape and just do uh, outline to path or uh, stroke to path. Sorry, I think it is stroke to path. And that would probably do the same now that I think about it. But being that I'm already halfway through this, we'll, uh, we'll just keep rolling with it. So that's pretty much what I want there. So that outside line is what's going to be cut on the uh, CNC. Um, so now that that's done, we can um, save this. Uh, I'm just going to save both of those um, and then we can jump over into the laser. Well, not into the laser, into uh, light burn. So I'll go ahead uh, again, save this. Now, I already have this saved actually because I've already done this for the purpose of the video. Um, it's already saved there, so I'm just going to head to cancel that and then jump into light burn. So again, I'm just going to import that same file that I just saved. So both the the, uh, the logos or the shields, I guess. And in this one, we're not going to need the one on the right there because that's the, the one that's going to be cut on the uh, machine. So I have to ungroup that first by clicking on that ungroup button and then I can select and delete that. And then I'm just going to bring this one into into my border. Um, now, for those of you that have seen the video that I've done on here, my CNC machine is a uh, 500 by 700, and the cutting parameter of that is exactly five by seven. So I can pretty much have this thing right up to the border line there, and it's gonna cut that out. Uh, so what I need to do here is remove this inner line because I wanna keep that border that runs around the outside of the backing, uh, the backing shield when I put that on there. Uh, so again, to do that, I'm just gonna select it and ungroup it. Um, so you're just going to click on that and then click the little icon to ungroup and then just hit delete and that'll get rid of that inner line. Um, so that's pretty much ready to go now straight onto the laser um, as it is. So yeah, now we'll go over to our easel and set up the CNC. So here we are in easel. So this is what I've got set up here. So I've got my thing. Now, um, I did plan on doing the background with a 12 or a 16 mil MDF, but after looking through the stock of material that I've got here, I don't even have any of that. So I'm gonna do it out of nine mil, 
which I could cut on the laser, but nonetheless, being that we're here, I'm just going to go uh, go go through with it and do it on the CNC here. So I'm going to, again, import that same logo that I just saved. Um, exactly the same one, just import it. And I'm going to uh, obviously remove this one on the left here because that's the one that's getting cut on the laser. So all I really need here is this, this, this part here. So I'm just going to line that up. And you can see on the preview on the right-hand side at the moment, that's set to clear out of pocket. That's why it's missing on there. So I'm going to have to go ahead and change that, um, which is just click on the cut tab. And then down the bottom here, you can go through and select um, cut uh, outside of shape or outside of path. So it will now cut the outside of that shape once I select this here. And you'll see the preview on the right there has changed. So you can see that it's actually just cut that out. So this one's pretty basic. Um, Easel is what I use to do the work on my CNC machine. It's a free program. Uh, you can pay for the pro version, but the uh, the basic version does fine for what I need. So um, I don't have any problems with it. It seems to work really well. Uh, again, I'm going to change the size of the tabs uh, just to two millimeters wide by two millimeters high. Now the tabs are just what basically holds the shape in place once the CNC has gone through and cut it out. Um, so they're actually really handy to have just to stop it from moving around. You can select those and move them to where you sort of want them. Um, doesn't really matter too much, I guess, as long as they're not on any corners or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. So we'll just uh, go ahead and leave it at that. All right, so here we are on the CNC machine. So I'm just using this piece of 9mm MDF here. Uh, I'm just going to screw that down and get this all set up. And then we'll basically run the job and um, yeah, go from there. Okay, so now that that's run, uh, I'm just going to undo these screws um, and cut those little tabs out that I had and we should be pretty well good to go. It's already quite loose because it's cut through, so cut these couple of tabs out and now we're on over to the, uh, to the laser machine. Alright guys, here we are at the laser machine, so I'm just going to put in some 3 mil and again just get this set up. Um, set the origin, do a quick frame and then jump in and uh, basically cut that out. So this is just coming to an end now. So I'll just take you in and show you a little bit. Uh, you can see right there, that's how close it is to that 500 height. Um, yeah, leaving only probably a millimeter of room down the bottom, mill or two. Uh, so we don't need the outside. This part here, I'm going to keep because I'm going to use that to help paint it and to also um, help me when I glue it together. So I'll show you that when we get to it. But I'll get this out now and we'll uh, start doing some painting. All right, jumping straight over to the uh, painting or sanding. I'm just going to give this a quick sand. So I've just got some sandpaper and some uh, smoother grit sandpaper. I'm just going to give the edges a quick run over and uh, give it a blow off and then hit it with some paint.
right, guys, so that's the back of it painted, and I'm just going to flip this over now and uh, paint the front. So basically just do that the same way, and then we can jump over to um, painting the front of the sign, painting the white. Alright guys, so with that all painted now, it's time to paint the front of the sign. Uh, this is just going to be painted white, and basically the way that I'm going to do this is use this piece here. Now this piece obviously doesn't get glued down to the backing, um, but I'm going to use this to put together to paint it all, to keep it all nice and, um, nice and you know, doesn't move around and whatnot. Uh, if I can figure out how to get this thing lined up. <laughs> there we go all right so yeah so basically put everything in give it all a nice paint and um, i'm going to use the same technique when it comes to gluing it on as well because that'll help me line everything up Alright guys, so here we go, last step, time to glue the front to the back and uh, basically have a look at how this thing's turned out. So, uh, as I just said before there, I'm going to use the same technique as what I did with the painting and I'm basically going to put this whole thing in and then I'm just going to glue in the parts, uh, you know, that actually get stuck down. So, um, pretty easy process but definitely a good way to do it to make sure that everything is lined up. So, I'll jump in now and get this thing glued up and we'll see how it comes out. So that's all glued up now. Time for the big reveal. I just got to pull out these couple of little pieces. So these are obviously the parts that weren't glued in, uh, which is basically just the B and um, that big piece on the uh, on the inside. So uh, again, a really good way to sort of line up your work after you've cut it out, especially if you're using the laser machine because it cuts so um, you know so perfectly. That um, yeah, it's definitely a good way to sort of line everything up. So we'll get this pulled out and we'll uh, have a look at it. Fingers crossed. Just got to be really careful just so that it doesn't pull up any of the letters. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that's good. That's come up really good. I like that. So everything's stuck down. I mean, I've only just glued it, obviously, so it will need some time to sort of sit and, uh, and dry. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, anyway, I hope you liked the uh, the video and hopefully it was helpful. Um, yeah, definitely drop some, uh, some comments into the comment section. Let me know what you think. And um, thanks again for checking out the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one.